welcome everyone in the room and um, in the computer land to this um, October 23rd, 2023 select board meeting of the town of Rochester, which has had the agenda posted in three public places on the website and also emailed to interested parties. So we can move forward um, and with this meeting. And I would like to start with um, bringing forth the minutes from the prior meeting of October 9th, which looked complete to me. They I didn't did. see anything missing from that. I'd right? move to approve those. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> and we have um, first item on our new business is to the review of the September Treasurer's Report, which um, thank you again for bringing this out and thank you for the auditors for recommending that we um, make a point of looking at this uh, regularly that's um it's a good good process and i move to approve this report i second that all in favor aye aye, aye. 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 if you want to sign that one on there too so MTAP, which is stands for the Municipal Municipal Technical Assistance Program. This is there's been some grant money put out from the legislature to help smaller towns get a fairer share of um, monies that might be out there to to help with um, anything from community assessments and opportunity assessments, funding application, permit assistance, project management and implementation. Um, we have been pre-approved as a community that could have access to these and all we have to do is tell them whether we're interested or not. I can't see why we wouldn't be interested. It doesn't commit us to doing anything in particular, but it would give us um, give us some help if we come across projects that have, that would fall into that. About, have they talked about how much help? There's no numbers on there, but it's. Um, I mean, I guess the first step is to say yes, we're interested, and then we could get in touch with them and say, okay, what what are we talking about here? I think a good target for our request would be the water and sewer department. Mm -hmm. Um, we already have compiled um, a, a wish list and a time frame of what would be needed for water and sewer over the next year to five, five to ten, ten to twenty. So we can pull that out when we were pulling together figures for ARPA money and uh, start applying uh, whatever we could get yeah, to exactly. those needs. Yeah. So I'd, I'd move to respond affirmatively to to them saying yes we're interested mm -hmm. okay. i second all in favor aye aye, aye. all right all right and so so we have an agreement with um nimrick for the reappraisal of the town which we um we voted to um go with them in the last meeting and so this is this the formal um agreement to sign so i'd, I'd move to execute this agreement and the uh, reappraisal process will be done in June of 2027. 2027. So. Really? I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is that the start? No, June of 2025 is when it's going to start, I believe. Okay. Ending June of 2027. So we actually will have a couple more budget years to fund the $96,000? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, we're yeah. already set, yeah, I think. We're okay. already set with that. I think I'm being close to it. And we funded, we put some money into it this year, too. Mm -hmm. We did, in addition to the state. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Right. We, doub we doubled what the state said, I think, or right we around matched. it. We, Eight, ma we matched it. We matched it, didn't we? we? Yeah. Oh, you already seen it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we matched that or something. Oh, Martha has a question. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, the NEMRC, for some reason I have forgotten what that stands for, if you could let me know. That is the... New, um, New England Municipal Resource. Resource Center. 
I couldn't hear you. What? Limerick is the New England Municipal yeah. Resource, Resource Center. Center. Limerick. It is. Nemrick is the the company that gives us the programs for our taxes, our um, valuation, our payroll, cash receipts. Cash receipts. Nemrick is a okay. municipal software program. But the words are New England Municipal Resource Center. Nimric. We believe so. Yes. I was just saying Nemrick. Okay. I can confirm that tomorrow. We'll yeah. For you. Okay. All right. Thank you. They Sorry to bother you. Nope. They're always just referred to as Nimric. Yeah. Nimric. Nimric. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll refer to it that way instead. Sorry. Yeah. I think you can Google it too. Eight thousand was the reappraisal figure. Right. I think the state gives us like eighty-two hundred or something, and, and we put in another eight. And we matched it. Yeah. I think or getting close to it. Mm -hmm. So we upped at sixteen. So I think we got the ninety-six already. I think it's in our. Um, Let's lock in the rate. Yeah. They've, they've given you a figure there, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, 96,000, I think, is what that figure So does is. that mean that maybe we don't have to put that in the next year's budget? Well, well we may, might not need to put the extra, but we have the to extra, start we'll saving still, up for the next well, the one. Next one right, <laughs> right. But, well, we'll, well, the state will contribute. The state will keep, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep, keep that in. contributing. Exactly. And keep that loan It'd be nice that. for the state to increase their donation. Right. Because yeah. <laughs> we'll, I think we just, this past year, we just decided to to case. do that knowing we were going to be facing we're this. Yeah. this. Yeah. Right. And we weren't sure what when it was going to cost. Head. So yeah. maybe in the future we might like this year we may want to think about maybe just putting a like a thousand dollars in there, just to keep adding to it until we. There may be somebody else that needs it more so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very very true. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we also may need to do another reappraisal in less than ten years. The, right. the ten That's year the... rule is gone away, even though. We are mm. at 11 years yeah. now, so this will be a telltale thing. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have Tony here from the library, but their um, library's looking a little spiffier than it than it well, was. Yeah, except the They're, the yard there. The ground. Yeah, the yeah, ground. It's going to snow and cover that up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I cleaned up a lot of it yeah. this weekend, and then did you I, do that? Yeah, I got to seed the. They raked the lawn out, and I got to seat it. And what about it. the yeah. Pierce Hall parking lot? Pierce Hall parking lot. I, I cleaned that up. They the broke bricks, it up. The bricks and stuff? You mean right there in the, the bottom? Pavement. No, there's no broken. There's nothing broken there that I could see. They may be then that did something. What about the uh, stone wall? Nothing wrong with that. I cleaned it up this weekend. Okay. You would know. Yep, I was there. So, and I see, I got a seed down the lawn, that's it. And then do some work on the pumpkin patch. And I talked with Patty and Dave. They might be able to just smooth that out around the yard with the with just rolling it mm -hmm. where they made their ducks going around That'd there. I, I walked around there. It's really not that bad. It just needs to be rolled out and smooth. Did they rake it up? Where? The paint chips. I haven't yet. So we'll I'll get on that to be done with it. They're not going to do it, so I doubt it. We'll be lucky if they come back. <laughs> they had a pretty late night there. Yeah, they yeah, did. So I heard. Yeah. So on to the highway. The um, the sand stash is pretty much. The filled up and ready to go, right? The sand stash is pretty well up. Um, I'm not sure where Bethel's at as far as closing the mountain road, but they've talked about it uh, for the month of November. Um, John has uh, been asked to plow from the top down to the traffic light. I don't know. I, I left that up to him. It's his call, not mine. Um, I don't know. They were supposed to be awarding those bids. I don't know if they have awarded them yet. I need to call Therese to find out. And they were supposed to be putting signs up out here to 
advertise the closing of the road um, for I don't know how long I, they talked about a month because they want to replace those two culverts mm -hmm. and so they were putting them both out to bed and I said well it's getting a little late but they kind of have to do it because they can't leave those lights up no. during the winter no, I mean, cars work. will be piling up there and yeah. it'll be a mess so they really have to <coughs> jump on it but that's all on them it's nothing mm -hmm. to do with us so it's just whether or not John wants to keep the road above the and from the top down to where those lights are so that's up to him yeah where did he turn around down there well it'd have to yeah. be somebody's driveway yeah, there somewhere. it's not going to be easy yeah. so I don't know you know they have to come up and do Campbell Road anyway so I don't know but they won't be carrying salt for that yeah but there then again it's not going to be a through road so I don't know what would be the major issue there's a well, couple houses there snow. but but that's all maybe it won't snow he said <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but I left it up to him it's going to be up to him to whether or not I'm also looking at um, I've talked with the map people um, we're putting that taking the nuts road designation off from that Jerusalem Hill section going to Stuart Browns which is roughly uh, almost a half a mile so that'll be upgraded to just class three we don't have any we don't have to do anything as far as advertising for that because it's already a class three road um, we just have to take the designation as a nuts road off it what's that mean the nuts road it's a uh, not up to the standards oh so okay. we've we've been plowing it and maintaining it up to standards mm. but it's, it's never been changed the only thing i have to do is is uh, see where the trail stops and where that you know where that road is mm -hmm. they the mapping people say it's just the stewart's driveway that that class three designation goes to anyway so I just have to see if that coincides with what records have. And I haven't been able to locate that. I've got a call into Bruce Flowing to see if he has researched any of that at all. So, and I didn't hear back, he was out turkey hunting. So I didn't hear back from him, so. My talk with Larry Strauss. Yeah, I'll ask Larry too. Good chance he has a good idea. <laughs> he, he may know where that ends. But, just just a quick question for Frank. I'm, I wasn't hearing you very well. Um, and when you were talking about Bethel Mountain Road, if I said Bethel Mountain Road will be closed for about a month for a color replacement work starting when? Is that correct? Or? I'm, I'm not sure when at this point. Uh, Bethel. They're just, it's up to Bethel, the town of Bethel. They're, they are required, they'll be required to put all the signs up and and all that. That'll be at their you know expense and all that so it's really up to them i i don't know what their status is they told me that they would be doing the signs this week but i haven't heard anything from them and i didn't call her today so so if yeah. i said it bethel mountain road will be closed for about a month for culvert replacement work um but you weren't sure um you hadn't heard from bethel as to when the starting date was yet that would be okay to say that would work. You Thank should, you. You should probably check with Bethel. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You might want to check with Bethel first, or let okay. me call you tomorrow, and I can call Bethel tomorrow to get some dates. Okay. Would you like me to do that, Martha? If you would, if you have time and you wouldn't mind. Okay, I'll do that. I'll give you a I call tomorrow. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. I, I mean, so many people use Bethel Mountain Road. I know this is Fine. information people would like to know. Yes, I know. Okay, thank you. Know. There's going to be a lot a of people that aren't too happy with it, but <laughs> better than getting stopped in a stoplight halfway up that well, hill. Keep I asking when so. it's going to be fixed. So <laughs> no, there no. we go. No, but you have some idea of how much traffic is coming across it mm -hmm. when they have to stop at that light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially if it snows, they ain't going to be yeah. able to get up there. Well, it'll take care of some of those trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, I don't presume Terry's in um, on Zoom there. No. 
No. Nope. So no um, report from that. How about Jeff Gephardt? No. Nope. How about you? Got any updates on grants? Probably. Not really. Um, I just paid the last um, invoice for West Hill Bridge. It's in my AP run there. Um, so after that, we'll be working on um, looking for reimbursement. Yeah. It's echoing because Robert has his phone and his computer on. Oh. All right. Um, nothing in the um, the old business. I um, we have anything that you guys have got to? Um, nope. We still don't really have any um, in anywhere closer to setting a, a, a vote on the school. The last discussion was to move the vote on to the day after town meeting day, which is our primary day, mm -hmm. so that it would be a ballot vote. Um, there could be discussion at town meeting, but the actual vote, is, they're looking to go for a ballot. But they will be coming in to discuss that with us yeah. in the next few meetings. All right, that, that makes sense. You'll probably get a, a more of a, a turnout on the vote in, in that way. Maybe. Yeah. Might be more people um, voting in the primary than necessarily coming to town meeting. <laughs> right. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Good luck. Yeah. Um, we'll open it up to any um, public comments. <laughs> if there's anyone in the room or on Zoom that has. I have a public comment. Yeah. All right. Is that Robert? Yeah, June, how are you? All right. All right. What's what's on your mind, Robert? Well, I know I only have three minutes, but with regards to the technology support that the state and New England is offering to the town of Rochester, I would suggest that the town uh, understands what went wrong with the technical problem on a uh, previous meeting. There, there was no announcement in the paper why the meeting was canceled and for what technology reason. Number two, I want to ask Patty Harvey a question. Would you like me to ask that question? Go ahead. The question is, when you became a select board member of Rochester, Vermont, you insisted to me via email and phone calls to not uh, communicate with you with regards to your business matters. Why did you do that? I think that we were talking about, I, I was asking you to use a different email than my real estate email. So That's by the way, your owl that you paid a thousand dollars for is not working. But your voice, I cannot hear you. I hear you just fine, Robert. Still can't hear you. I can hear you well. Well, uh, here's my concern. And I put this forth to Kristen and Julie, the town clerk and the assistant, month uh, to two weeks or three weeks ago regarding the use of private or uh, public emails being used to to uh, promote and be involved with the town business. So your your answer to the question, I wonder why the chair of the select board of Rochester uses Dune at Green Mountain Bikes for his uh, town business. It's a serious problem. And uh, I, I warned Dune uh, two years ago, three years ago, to separate his bike business from his town business. But now we have to deal with the uh, going through all of his emails, business and, and, and town to search for information that people are in need of. So Dune, I'm recommending to you and to I Frank Severy to set up an email address specific to your town business like Patty did so it's separate from your business. It's very simple. It's, it's um, a Gmail account. I appreciate you. No, I don't understand. I don't understand why 
it continues to go on. Doing a Green Mountain Bikes on your website, when people from out of state are trying to get in touch with the select board, and we have to deal with bicycles when they're trying to buy million-dollar properties. There's not been a problem, and it's not a legal requirement, Robert. So, oh, it, uh, won't, it won't be a problem. Okay, it won't be a problem uh, until it, it becomes a real big problem. And, okay. you know, I respect okay. Patty okay. Harvey for separating her business, her and David's business, from town business. But uh, uh, one cannot promote a business or personal information or a, a, a conversations while being town appointed or elected officials. Okay, this is going you. to be held up in the state house yeah. in the next uh, yeah. board, uh, the next uh, uh, meeting up at the at the courthouse. Okay, great. Thank you. So thank it's you. It's got to be taken care three of. Three minutes are up, Robert. Thank you for your concern, and we'll take it under advisement. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. So, uh, me yeah, well, I don't uh, think I anyone we... has. Well, no, I think you've had your three minutes, Robert. We got your point um, again. Um, but I'm not aware of anyone failing to be able to communicate with me through my emails. So I'm, I'm not seeing the, the, um, the intensity of the problem as, as you do. But um, that's, um, so be it, that was my email I was using when I started on the select board over 10 years ago. And, and it's, um, it's been working all that time. So. Um, Thank you for your concern. Um, does anyone else have anyone um, have to speak about something? No. No? All right. Um, then I would move to adjourn. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right.